All right, guys, a lot of you have previous injuries in your shoulders, your knees, your hips, your joints, okay? As an older man, it's one of the most common things I see. It's, it's from years of abuse, years of wear and tear, doing things incorrectly, whatever it is, it's wreaking havoc on your joints, okay? So one of the questions I've been getting from a lot of people is, can you still build muscle? Can you still build strength? by using lighter weights. All right, if you want the answer to that, make sure you watch this video because I'm gonna show you an actual workout routine you can utilize focusing strictly on lighter weights to help build muscle and strength. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com. All right, in this video, we're gonna discuss, and I'm also gonna give you a workout, all right? How to build muscle with lighter weight training, okay? You grew up hearing you have to be extremely strong. You have to lift, uh, lift extremely heavy weight to build muscle. Okay, there's some truth to that, but there's a lot of myths to that as well that have completely been busted, all right? Here's the thing. It's more about muscular tension. How to create a lot of muscle tension a lot of mental focus into that muscle, the mind-muscle connection. Those are far more important than how much weight you can lift, all right? I've known guys that can squat 600 pounds and have chicken legs. Crazy how that sounds, however, strong power lifters, you know, 145 pound guys are extremely strong, yet don't have a whole lot of muscle, all right? So it doesn't always go hand in hand. Here's the other thing, when you're used to lifting heavy all the time, you're taxing your central nervous system. You're destroying your joints, all right? You're doing a lot of things that are gonna make you feel bad, all right? And my goal is to not only make you look better, but make you feel better at the same time, all right? That's one of the main reasons I came up with my Tricon training. And Tricon training is specific for building muscle and strength, and it utilizes less weight, all right? I'm gonna show you how to do a couple of these Tricon, uh, tricon sets here in a minute. But basically, Tricon is triple contraction training. That's what it stands for. All right, you're focusing on not only the concentric and eccentric phases of a lift. All right, those are two contractions that you're doing when you're doing your full range of motion reps. However, the third is neglected a lot. It is the isometric contraction. It's the, con it's the contraction that is allowing your muscle to contract without lengthening or shortening. All right, so you're just holding a weight, heavy weight in a specific, um, in a specific range, all right? So instead of the full range of motion, I'll show you exactly where you're gonna be utilizing these, all right? So by incorporating the tri sets, you can build a ton of muscle and a ton of strength. So you can do it without destroying your joints. So that is the primary benefit, all right? So let's get down to this, this exercise. You're gonna be utilizing a full body exercise or workout, all right? Full body workout designed to boost your hormones, designed to keep your muscles stimulated in the optimal time under tension range and get a metabolic boost as well. So you're also gonna be burning fat. Burning fat, you're filling your muscles full of lactic acid, which is driving growth hormone into the muscles. So tremendous benefits all around, all right? So the first thing we're gonna focus on is you gotta make sure you have a leg exercise. I like to start with the leg exercise. So the one we're gonna use here for a tricon set, you can do a goblet squat, which I recommend a lot, but for this one, we're gonna do a heel elevated front squat. All right, heel elevated front squat is gonna place a lot of emphasis on your quads, which is one of the things I like to really focus on, all right? So the main key points when you're doing these, let's get into this a little bit. You want your heels to be elevated slightly. Feet more narrow, and then rotate your toes out slightly, all right? So the goals here are you gonna sink back. It's a hip hinge movement. You're not just bending over, dropping down. You're actually getting your glutes back and you're gonna drive them back as far as possible. And then you're gonna go into your descent, okay? The other thing you wanna focus on, don't round your shoulders, chest up nice and tall, contract your abs, all right? And a tricon set is nine, total reps. You do three explosive reps, 
followed by three isometric holds at the mid range, okay? After your three isometric holds, then you're gonna do your three super slow. I'll show you what this looks like if you haven't done these before. Got a lot of Tricon videos out there, so make sure you check those out as well. However, once you get the setup done, again, core tight, chest out, get those glutes, drive them back. You wanna sink down into the lift and then drive your weight back up, all right? Back, descent, drive, okay? Your two, same, nice form, and explode up. All right, after your three explosive, you get into the mid range. So basically, same movement, get those glutes back, and you're gonna pause right here for 10 full seconds. You're really gonna feel this in your quads, okay? 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, and then you will drive back to the top, sink back into your second hold, and it's the same thing, always at the mid range of the motion, all right? I wanna make sure you're really focused on being in this mid range and you're not just going through the motions or you're not resting at the bottom or resting at the top. You wanna to be making sure you've got tension in your quads, back up to the top, drive back, mid range. And again, you should really focus. I'm gonna focus on your quads here. Separate the floor mentally with your feet. That's gonna help contract those quads as well. Straight back to the top, all right? Those are your six reps. Three explosive, three holds. And on the super slow, you got three super slow, it's four second eccentric. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, full range of motion, four seconds up. One, and four. Right back down. Four. Four, one more. Four, all right. Nine total reps. That's what you're going for. That's how you do a tricon set, all right? This one, you should really feel your quads tremendously, okay? It's a lot more focused on your quads. If your goal is more glutes, adductors, then substitute this exercise with a goblet squat. That allows you to drop a little bit deeper. It's more of a sumo stance, which is really gonna focus on those adductors. All right, next exercise we're gonna do is chest. We've gone from a leg, overall body type movement, multi-joint movement, to a dumbbell bench press, all right? Dumbbell bench press, here's the thing. Lighter weights, because you're gonna be doing the same tricon sets. Trust me, you can't go really heavy and still maintain three isometric holds or three super slow reps. So you wanna find a weight that you can do, all right, that you can do all nine reps of. Dumbbells, lock your shoulder blades, squeeze them together, depress them, nice and slow on the way down, explode on the way up. Three just like that. One more. All right, here. Mid-range, hold. Here's the other key. When you're holding here, focus on contracting your chest, all right? This is where the mind-muscle connection comes in. This is where these also help improve your mind-muscle connection. You don't wanna just be holding the weight, not paying attention to your muscles contracting, all right? Back to the top. Same thing here. 10 seconds. A full 10 seconds. Really focus on contracting your chest. Chest, use the chest muscles to drive the weight back up. And you'll do your three isometric holds. We've done two. This will be the third. 
All right, from here, you're gonna go straight into your super slow. Same thing, four seconds, eccentric. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four, full range of motion, all right? Thousand one, thousand two, thousand four, right back into your second. Good stretch. Good contraction. And then back to four. All right, that's your nine reps. Okay, nine reps. Now you've worked legs, you've worked chest. Now we're gonna hit that back. For the back, with a tricon exercise, a tricon set, I like to utilize chest supported machines, all right? With dumbbells, we're gonna do a chest supported dumbbell row. You can do these with a standard dumbbell row. You can do tricon sets. However, your form has to be impeccable, all right? If you're sitting here holding the weight in the mid range and you don't have a strong core or perfect form, it's gonna start bringing in your lower back. Your lower back's gonna start taking over this exercise and you're gonna feel it more there than your mid to upper lats. All right, so for that reason, especially if you've never done tricon sets, I usually recommend doing them on a chest supported incline, so chest supported bench, or a chest supported row. If you're at a gym and you've got actual row machines, then do them there, all right? Do them on a chest supported row. Because basically, what we're doing here, dead hang, shoulder blades out, Explode, back down. Three, just like that. And then mid-range, same thing. Hold mid-range here. And actually what I like you to focus on here, flaring those lats out. You're trying to separate your lats as much as possible, all right? Similar to doing in bodybuilding a front lat spread so you're just basically trying to separate your scapula at the top and really hold that squeeze. And then you're gonna stretch, get right into your second hold. A good 10 seconds again, all right? Good full stretch, really stretch those lats. And you'll get into your third isometric hold. And then you're gonna do these. You're gonna follow these with your three super slow. All right, so four seconds on the way up. Full range. Four seconds down. Two reps and then we're doing your third. All right, okay, so now you've done your back. Tricon set for your legs, tricon for your chest, back, now shoulders. All right, for shoulders, I actually like utilizing a seated dumbbell press. Once again, this will allow you to support your lower back. You can do them standing, however, if you haven't done tricon sets before, like I said, like I mentioned with the, the upper back, you want to make sure your core is strong enough to support that isometric hold, all right? You don't want to arch your lower back, which is what a lot of people tend to do when they start fatiguing. All right, so we're going to do these in a seated position. Back is supported. You're going to do explode. Explode, your three explosive, three, and then hold right at the mid range. 10 seconds holding right here. Focus on making the weight uh, hold all in your, your delts, all right? Focus on your delts doing all the work. If that makes sense. Push. All right. 
10 seconds. You're gonna drive it back up. Hold it again for your third isometric hold. And then we're gonna go super slow with three reps, full range of motion. Nothing more. Good stretch. Oh, good contraction. One more. One more. All right. Now we work shoulders, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is work your biceps. All right, we're almost done, guys. This is a full body workout, like I said. So we're going to the biceps tricon set as well. So basically on the biceps, I like utilizing dumbbell curls. You can do a bar. I like the easy bar curl as well, typically. Let me show you real quick on a bar. If you have a straight bar, when you're in your hold, this is the mid range, 90 degrees, all right? When you're holding the weight, your focus should be bringing this pinky through the bar. It's bending the bar, okay? But creating that mental image is actually gonna help get you into a really big peak contraction in your biceps. All right, so without those, you can still do the same thing, but you're just gonna make sure your pinkies are higher than your thumb. I like to keep these out, all right? Explode. 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 Three, and then mid-range. You're gonna hold mid-range here. 10 seconds. Pinkies, if you notice, you're trying to get higher than my thumbs. 10, full stretch. Another hold. Another stretch. Another hold. You'll notice, although we're not using heavy weights, you're still gonna have a lot of tension. You're still gonna get a good pump. You're gonna feel the muscles that should be working, all right? After the three holds, we're doing the three super slow. Thousand one, four, four. One more. Four. All right, biceps are done. Once you've done the biceps, all right, let's move this out of the way because the last one, we're gonna utilize an easy curl bar. You can do easy curl bar or dumbbells, all right? This is an overhead tricep extension. I like the closer neutral grip on the easy curl bar. Basically, overhead, good stretch, contract. Stretch, explosive contraction. There. And then the hold here, really focus. Separating the bar apart. Mid range, really focus on those triceps. Triceps should be doing all the work, all right? 10 seconds, back up. Do another 10 second hold. One more. And you're almost done with this workout, but it will be a tremendous workout, I promise you. Press super slow. Deep stretch, full range. Four. One more. All right, and that's your full body workout, guys, all right? All Tricon exercises, full body. I took you through one set of everything. Here's the thing, two to four sets of these, all right? That's what your goal should be. You can do them in a circuit style. If you're doing them at home, you've got the equipment. If you're at a gym, I know it's difficult to set up a big circuit. 
So you can do them straight sets. If you're gonna go straight sets, I recommend resting 60 to 90 seconds at most between your sets of exercises, okay? Do that, put this whole workout to use. You can do this full body three times a week, all right? You will get stronger, build more muscle, burn more fat, all the tremendous benefits, all right? By utilizing this, and as you notice, I didn't use much weight at all. It's impossible to do this and lift extremely heavy, all right? But that's not the point. The point isn't to lift extremely heavy. The point should be getting optimal results. Optimal results with less weight are better for older men because it's gonna keep your joints injury free. It's gonna help protect you, make you feel better, all right? But guys, give this workout a shot. If you have any questions about any of the exercises, any of my tri sets, comment below, let me know. If I need to clarify anything for you, man, let me know in the comment section as well. Also, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So I know, I know to do more like it. Share the video with your buddies, your family. Subscribe to the channel, guys, if you haven't already done so. Man, other than that, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.